Hey, a pleasure. Good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick breakdown of the Toronto Maple Leafs 5-3 loss over the Tampa Bay Lightning, excuse me, out there in Toronto. Hope everyone's having a good day, and a pleasant special thanks to those of you that have subscribed already. Please continue to subscribe down below to show your love and support. Really appreciate you all for that. But in this game, uh, we had the scoring Start early, 144 in as Andre Casa was able to score on the power play on a nice shot in front. And then Pierre Edward Belmore later on had an answer where he was able to get the nice poke in front on the backhander and be able to pot a goal of his own. And then we had a very weird, peculiar play um, on the Stamkos goal where Muzzin wasn't able to clear the puck. It lands, Stamkos hit, hits a flutter puck, excuse me. And then Jack Campbell has absolutely no chance to save that uh, whatsoever. And then you have William Nylander from the point, shoots a flutter puck of his own. You have back-to-back flutter puck goals in this game. You don't see that often, uh, where he shoots it off the boards, flutters it in. It looks like it went off of Hedman there. It might have been Sergachev, but it looks like it hit one of the Leafs defensemen. And then went in as a power play goal. And then we have the goal that Andre Palat early on in the second, 4-0-2 in the second, that was the goal that gave Tampa Bay the lead when he was able to score on a deflection from Stamkos and Radish early on then, where it looked like he was trying to get that puck really to Taylor Radish, and then he ended up um, uh, scoring. And then Radish was able to blast one on an absolutely filthy snapshot at the 9-12 mark of the second period on an absolutely ballistic missile that he sent into the net there, that there was absolutely no chance Jack Campbell was saving that, where Andre Vasilevsky won the goaltender battle, um, 38 shots thrown at him to 27 by the Tampa Bay Lightning, but this was a very good game, the fifth goal was of course the empty net goal, the Stamkos got it to Palat so he could get another goal, and then the goal before that um, was the goal that Andre Kasha was able to score uh, when Jake Muzzin was able to shoot it. It looked like Vasilevsky had it. I'm pretty sure that everybody on Tampa thought he had it. And then Costa's able to put it in, where, of course, earlier he was able to score on that very nice broken play goal where they were trying to get it to Tavares. He picks it up in front of the net. It was actually some decent net front defense there by the Maple Leafs in the game that I thought they played their worst net front defense of the season tonight, which is what was able to cost them in this game. They gave too much net front to a team that's obviously going to be very dangerous um, in the Tampa Bay Lightning if you're the Toronto Maple Leafs giving that type of team the net front presence and also not being able to clear the puck like Muslim wasn't able to do, who played one of his lone really struggle bunny games of the season in himself. So obviously I would say the star players of this game are Andre Palat for playing an absolutely fantastic game himself, getting two goals, uh, one being an empty netter. Another star of this game would definitely be Steven Stamkos. And then another guy, because he was able to get on the assist sheet too on the Palakal, I would throw Radish in there as well, because he's been playing very well, and he's played terrific um, for them with Palat and Stamkos, getting first-line minutes as a 23-year-old that was drafted at the 58th pick. I mean, talk about good drafting in Tampa Bay and good development, 58th pick. Uh, 2016. You got Ross Colton, who moved up to the second line tonight, 118th pick 2016. So really picking well in that 2016 draft. Uh, he moved up. Riley Nash, I did a video on that. I'll link it at the end here on him being a waiver claim. First game has to come in because Anthony Sorelli's out. I mean, that's the that's the pedigree of champions. You have that step-up mentality. Anybody who steps in just fits in, plays perfectly to Cooper's system. And then Toronto's obviously the same thing with Keith. Anybody that's come in there has played very well this season. Um, you obviously have Andre Casa, who's played like a bat out of hell, who could have been a star of this game as well, but his team didn't win, so I would give it to Stamkos, Palat, and Radish. Um, but he's been playing very well this season. David Kampf has been playing well in the bottom six. Richie's come on more of late. Um, Kyle Clifford's a solid bottom six player. He's only played five games, but a very good AHL or Pierre Engvold, a good bottom six player. So you have been both of these teams. It was a battle of the top of the elite teams of the season thus far, and you think that are going to be the elite teams throughout the season. So this was a great battle. It came down to pretty much the wire, as it obviously came down to an empty net goal. 
that the Tampa Bay Lightning were then able to win 5-3 as Vazzy wins the great goaltender matchup. And then Steven Stamkos has a hell of a game, giving him a star of the game. Taylor Radish and Andre Palat would be my stars of the game for this one. Hope you all enjoyed this quick five-minute break. Then have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the season. And please continue to subscribe down below. Keep us going and growing. Peace out, everybody.